Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to do a brief overview of some of the timeline tools here. And these are going to be tools that you're going to be using in the editing process. And if you recall from the last video, we actually took out the system audio. And one thing that we can do here is we can actually remove this track so that we can have the audio and video together. So let's take a look at each of these individual tools. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that there is an arrow and this is going to be an undo tool. And all this does is what the undo tool traditionally does in a Windows program. And that is that if you click it, it'll actually undo your last action. And this can be a good way of being able to go back and retrace your steps if you're going to do editing. Now you can actually redo the last action by clicking the redo arrow. And that's for any action that you take along the timeline area. So if you add something and you want to take it out, you want to go back, you can use the undo and redo command. Now you also have here the cut command. And the cut command can be useful if you are going to take out anything in your video that you don't actually want there that's in a section. So for example, we can actually pull the cursor to a certain point in the video. And then we can then expand the cursor. And we can actually have an entire section of the video and we can click the cut command. And that entire section will then no longer be in the video. If we want to go back, all we have to do is click the undo button. If we want to return the cursor to its original state, we can double click the cursor. If we want to return the cursor to the home area, all we do is click Control Home. Now the other thing that Camtasia has is it has a copy and paste tool. And Camtasia will actually go to the place where the cursor is and it will paste whatever you have in your clipboard. So for example, if we Control End and pull our cursor all the way to the end, we can then click the Paste command. And you'll notice there that there is a portion that will actually be there. And this is something that we had in the toolbar. Of course, then we can actually go back and undo it and then bring our cursor back home. Now, one last thing that's important to show here is the split command. And this is going to come in handy when we want to take certain actions on the timeline for a particular section of the video. So, for example, if we pull our cursor to a certain point, we highlight the places on the timeline and then we click the split command. Camtasia will literally split the video and you'll notice that the split is going to be there and you'll see a little a line there that indicates that that portion of the video can be split. We can then pull it to another portion, highlight the video again and one of the ways that we re-highlight the video is we can hit the control button and then click the mouse then hit the control button and click the mouse and then we can then click the split button. And once again, this is going to come in handy when we do transitions. It's also going to come in handy if let's say what we wanted to do is we wanted to raise the audio on a specific portion of the video, but we didn't want to raise it on another portion. We could actually do that by splitting up the timeline. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back and we're going to undo both of those actions. Now one thing that we'll need to do when we're editing is in some cases we'll need to see the timeline differently. And we can actually reduce the size that we see on screen by using this measuring bar and we can actually increase it. Decrease it and increase it. And this will help us when we need to do specific audio editing or even specific video editing in a certain place and we need to get it so precise that we need to stretch out the audio so we can have a cursor in the exact place where things began. Now you'll also notice that there is a marker here and we will actually discuss that in a separate video as we will also discuss quizzing. But one final aspect of the timeline that you'll want to know about is if we were to click just the video portion, what we can do is we can click the properties and we can get the properties of that particular video. In this case, it's the audio. If we click the video portion, we can actually get the properties of the video. Now, when we do that, there are some aspects of the video that we can actually customize. We can do that from the properties screen. 
Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.